Father, we thank you for your presence. Do what only you can do. Make us better than what we are. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Somebody shout a better amen. Please take your seats. Genesis 45. Let's read from verse 1. To verse 9. Genesis 45. Read from verse 1 to verse 9. Thank our beloved leaders and the men alive for one more time extending this invitation to me. I am very grateful for the opportunity. I believe that God is about to change somebody's introduction. Amen. A time comes in life when the way you are introduced must change. Amen. And I believe somebody's change will begin from this service now. Amen. Am I talking to somebody tonight? Yes, sir. I need you to be alive. I need you to be alert. Because this is your month of divine visitation. Amen. I am here as an angel to your family tonight. Amen. Somebody say better amen. Amen. Genesis 45. Let's read from verse 1. To verse 9, yes. Then Joseph could not refrain himself before all them by him, and he cried, Cause every man to go out from him. And there stood no man that made himself no brethren. Verse 2. And he wept aloud, and the Egyptians and the house of Pharaoh heard. And Joseph said unto his brethren, I am Joseph. Hold it. I am Joseph. Can you look at somebody and say, I am, I am Joseph? That was the first introduction. I am Joseph. Go ahead. Go ahead. I am Joseph. Yes. Doth my father yet live? And his brethren could not answer him, for they were troubled at his presence. I am Joseph. A man was introducing himself to his elder brothers. And they did not know that it was him. Did the face of Joseph change? Did he change from a black man to a white man? So how come that somebody that lived in your family stayed with you? After a while, you could not recognize who he was. Permit me to let you understand that he did not change his height. He did not change his color. He did not grow from a slim to a fat man. No, but the presence around him, the glory of the majesty around him changed. They found him where they never knew a member of their family could be located. And they could not understand this kind of person here could not have come from our family. Something is about to change in your introduction. Amen. They could not answer him. They were troubled at his presence. The kind of glory around him could not let them look at his face. Someone who threw you away is about to enter your presence to bow. Amen. I am sorry for whoever has mocked you. I am sorry for whoever has despised your family. I am sorry for whoever rejected you because anything that they threw away concerning you, they will be ashamed that they ever did that thing. Now let's 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 get on. He said, I am Joseph. That was the first introduction. Go ahead. Verse 4. Yes. And Joseph said unto his brethren, He said to them, Yeah. Come near to me, I pray you. Uh-huh. And they came near. And he said, I am Joseph, your brother, who Number is two. sold into Egypt. I am Joseph. Again. Now, the Joseph you used to know, the one you sold, there's a new Joseph you don't know. The one you are now seeing is the one you used to know. The one you sold. 
The one you were envious of. The one you killed. He said, I am that one. Let's go ahead and finish that passage. Verse 5. Yes. Now, therefore, be not grieved. Yeah. No angry with yourselves. Uh -huh. That you sold me hither. Don't be angry that you sold me. Uh -huh. For God did not send me before. God did send me before you to preserve life. You sold me, but God sent me. <laughs> you sold me, but God sent me. The plan of man is not the plan of God. They want to bring you down, but God is using it to raise you up. Amen. I don't know what you're going through, but a change is about to manifest. Amen. Somebody shout a better amen. 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 Verse 6, yes. For these two years are the famine being in the land. Yeah. And yet there are five years in the which there shall neither be hearing nor harvest. Verse 7. And God sent me before you to preserve you a posterity. God sent me before you to preserve you. Uh -huh. A posterity in the earth. Yes, sir. And to save your lives by a great deliverance. Yes, verse 8. So now it was not you that sent me here. It was not you that sent me here. But God, and he had made me a father to Pharaoh. <laughs> and Lord of all his house. And a ruler throughout all the land of Egypt. This is the second introduction. The one you sold has now become the father of Pharaoh. I am Joseph now the father of Pharaoh. I am Joseph now the lord of all Egypt. Listen to me and listen. One of the worst things you can do to yourself is to write yourself off. If they reject you, don't reject yourself. God has not rejected you. Amen. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Hear me. The glory of May is still flowing from the overturn. They will not find you where they left you. Amen. Whatever their plans are, God is turning it around. Amen. He is not through with you yet. Amen. Somebody shout a better amen. amen. He said, God sent me and now the Pharaoh you are seeing is the father. The Joseph you are seeing is now the father of Pharaoh. Do you know what it means to be Pharaoh's father? He is now the Lord over all the land of Egypt. That was why they could not recognize him. You know why? Let me explain. They sold him to Midian, but he was not supposed to be in Egypt. The plan was for him to die in Midian. It was Midianite that bought him. Midian represents the forces against your harvest. Midian represents the forces that say you walk and not eat. Midian represents the forces that say you will die before you can enjoy. And they were bought by Midianites. But instead of taking him to Midian, they sold him to Egypt. So they did not expect to see that man in Egypt. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But the brother said, this one is gone. This one has been sold. They took his clothes, put the blood of goats upon it, and sent to his father. My Bible tells me that his father mourned him. A man was alive, but he was going through a funeral service. They cannot kill you while you are still alive. Amen. Is somebody hearing what I said? He said, I was that Joseph you killed. Has anybody killed your name? Has anybody killed your family? Has anybody killed your glory? Listen to me. There is what we call the resurrection power. Something is coming alive again in your life. Somebody shout a better amen. I am Joseph. I am now the Lord of Egypt. Now look at what he said in verse 9. S.T. Hurry up, hurry up now. Hurry up very quickly. Hasty, uh huh. And go up to my father. Go to my father. And say unto him. Say unto him. Thus saith thy son Joseph. It's no more thus saith the Lord. Your son is now a voice. Thus saith your son. Thus saith your son. That voice that they said, shut up your mouth. 
Any moment from now, they will hear that voice and tremble. Amen. Somebody shout a better amen. amen. Hear me, I am on assignment to somebody's family here this night. A voice must rise out of your family. Amen. A voice must rise out of your family. Amen. A family with a voice does not go through shame. A family with a voice cannot be ridiculed. It takes one man to get the grace. The whole family enjoys the glory. A Joseph is rising out of your family. Amen. Somebody shout a better amen. amen. Go ahead and finish it. God had made me Lord of all Egypt. Tell my father, thus saith his son. God has made me the Lord of all Egypt. Uh -huh. Come down unto me. Come to me now. Tarry not. And tarry not. Somebody say amen. Amen. The new Joseph has become the Lord. Now I need you to introduce yourself to somebody by your side as if that person was responsible for a gossip two years ago. Tell somebody, I am Joseph. I am Joseph. Now I need you to remove Joseph and put your name there. No, 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 no. Do it as if that person is a suspect. Do it as if you heard the gossip that person brought against you two years ago. Somebody's change has just arrived. Let me hear you shout a better amen. Now, between the old introduction and the new introduction, something happened. Something happened. What was it that took a man from the pits and took him to the palace? What was it that made a man leave the place where his family despised him to a place where his family honored him? What was it in this man that made him leave his family naked but came back with royalty? What was it that made this man leave his family empty, no connection, not knowing anybody, but he came back as Lord over the highest country? I need to give you that. There is something. Listen to me. If you enter the word of life, you have entered the of your harvest. God will give you another introduction. Let it, let it go to those that are shouting Amen tonight. What was the secret of Joseph? What was it that he left with and put himself in it? And in a short while, the people that knew him could not recognize him. Listen to me. These things are real. The second time I preached in Word of Life, still very young, it was also a men's convention. The first time was a men's convention, the second, the men, the third. We finished ministry and we were living through that door. Then there were mobile policemen at the gate. And there were some hefty guys at the gate. And as I was passing, there was a man that knew me in children's department in Enugu. <laughs> Who knew me at that level, but not his son. And was surprised to see me minister. I finished ministering, Papa hugged me. It was still like a movie to him. The little boy I used to know. And then he came to the gate to wait so that I, he can talk to me as I was leaving. The crowd was much. And then as I was passing by, he wanted to step out. A mobile policeman blocked him. I said, where are you going? He said, that boy is my boy. He's my boy. The mobile policeman looked at him and said, man of God is your boy. And I was just about to enter into the car and then the man who stood there, he, he moved. 
The man grabbed him back and lifted him up. Then I, I heard somebody shout, Nah, nah. <laughs> My Igbo name is Namde. And people who knew me called me Nah at that place. So that's where he knew me from. And I saw something, Nah, nah. I looked in the air. I said, Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. And then I came back, I said, ah, they, You're here. He said, I'm here. I said, nah. It means, when did this one start?